Well, good morning, everybody. Just leaving Three Forks, Montana. It's an interesting weekend. Had to get a lot of work done to the truck here. The uh, fuel valve that lets the fuel know which tank it needs to go to, that started leaking, dropping to my uh, drive shaft, which was throwing it everywhere, and that made quite a mess, including on the hot exhaust. So glad I got that fixed. Got that all taken care of now. Now uh, we gotta go over here, get this machine delivered tomorrow in uh, Kent, Washington. And uh, been kind of a frustrating run so far. I ran so hard to get over there, get this thing on the trailer, and then turned around and shot off and came down here just to get the truck worked on a bunch. I did get something else fixed that's been a major problem for me, and that was the battery box. The uh, step on the battery box had kept falling off, and the reason it was falling off is the battery box was cracked through the bottom. And uh, I had a battery go bad, and I think the reason that battery went bad is it was the one that was close enough to where that thing was broken. And so the bottom of the box was kind of concave there, and I think what happened is, is all the motion going down the road and that battery flexing like this, I think it caused it to uh, cause the cells to short or something because that battery went bad. The others were fine. These batteries are almost new. And so got that done. And the great thing I did is I got upgraded to a four-battery box yesterday. So now I have four batteries in there instead of the three. So it just gives me a little more confidence when I shut the truck off it's going to start again even if I'm in here using the inverter or whatever else so pretty happy to have that little job taken care of that was a big deal for me for a while so that's a big load off my mind so we're in pretty good shape with the truck now I mean I better be I got a new motor got all kinds of new parts on this thing we better be able to go do some trucking US 287 why the GPS thinks I'm going down 287 to get to Washington, but okay. So on this load, we're about 133,000 pounds. We're gonna be taking this up over the Continental Divide again. Uh, the last one I did on the last video you guys saw, that was at night. I was about 137 on that load. This machine is just a little bit lighter. It's not that much lighter, just a little bit. And so uh, we're going to uh, take it up over the Continental Divide here. It'll still be a really good test. And I, yeah, I'd like to, it's a beautiful day out here for filming, and the, the light's just perfect. So that's why I'm doing this again. And just kind of let you guys see what this thing looks like uh, pulling hard outside. to the bottom of the hill now it doesn't really look like anything when you're down here just kind of creeping up on it of course a lot of the, the mountain up there is covered in the clouds right now. now i got something kind of cool going on i've got this window that shows my gauges here and so we're going to pop back to that i don't know exactly how i'm going to edit this in or not yet but this will give you kind of an idea how this engine's performing going up this hill like i said we're about 133,000 pounds just now getting to the bottom of the hill here. So this is the first hard climb, so I'm going to go ahead and put my foot down on it. I'm going to turn the engine fan on immediately. Right now, we're right at 200 degrees.
at the summit elevation, 6,390. 